Welcome to the hottest weekend of the year. Uh, it's why the curtains are closed to keep the sunlight out. It is really, really boiling. I'm sweating and I'm not doing anything, but look. I think I'm growing a sunflower. Very exciting. Appropriate weather for it. It is absolutely sweltering. It's about 27, 28 degrees and not really equipped for it, to be honest. Probably going out this evening. Uh, hopefully it'll cool down a bit. I'm going to head into Cobham. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. So we the weather is the weather's very confused. It's sunny and warm and it's been pouring with rain. So we thought we'd go out and that's what started the rainstorm. So we're at Box Hill. We're going up Box Hill and hoping that it gets nicer. That's quite steep. As is that. So this is the top of Box Hill. And that's a bad dog being told off. So yeah it's um don't go up the steep side that's my advice to you and if you're stupid enough to cycle up it well you're stupid I <laughs> mean that's a zigzag road uh, over there leads up that side. It's lovely it's just really really hot and really really muggy and I'm sure I'll miss this when it's cold and <laughs> pouring but still it's not really mountain climbing weather, or even box hill climbing weather. Nice view into the distance though. And we're very close to um, Denby's, and there we can see the vineyards. See all these rows of vines? That's Denby's, that building there. And these are the vineyards. This is nearly the top. Box Hill. Well, there's kind of there's a couple of tops. This is nearly the visitor centre slash refreshments area, <laughs> which I can't tell you is very very welcome indeed. Right then, so there is technically a car park up here, but if we'd parked up here, we never would have been able to walk up that huge hill in the boiling heat. Anyway, this is Box Hill Fort, which we kind of missed because we came staggering through this field slightly overheated. So that's the fort. <laughs> it's a very sort of dirty old structure built to save the British Empire if the French invaded a hundred years ago. They didn't. So it's still here, <laughs> just in case. Just in case the French change their minds and decide to invade later. I'll meet you on Box Hill. There you go, this is top of the um, top of the hill with the Olympic rings and everything so second Olympic cycling venue in two weeks very popular up here today about halfway down probably maybe more hard to say we're not really sure this tree's fallen over you'll notice and it's but it hasn't died and so it's grown upwards from the main branch or the main trunk these upward shoots creating a bit of a hedge it's um still quite warm I would say we're gonna continue down until I can put my head in the river that's the ultimate aim here this is the river mole this is how you cross it, single file, step at a time. 
Go for it. It's very nice, it's very slow moving and shallow. There's people having a bit of a splash around further down. Here we go. This is difficult whilst filming. It's more difficult than it looks, I assure you. That's the easy approach. Should have gone with that. So we're just coming through the field at the end. That was the, that's where we were at the start, at the top of that cliff. It's quite high and big when you <laughs> see it from down here. It didn't look so big from up at the top, but yeah. It's quite a cliff line. So you join us as Vino attempts to eat an entire fish bowl filled with food. Yeah. Have you? Is that like a family meal? Yeah. Russ can eat everything in three bites. <laughs> and this is just some. Um, this is this is kind of noodles and. That looks good. That's yeah. That's not pad thai though, is it? No, it's not. It's just mushrooms and bean curd and noodles and nice. things. And I put some chilli on it. They've got such a massive menu. Okay, so these are our new mint green walls. They get some contrast. Not sure what I feel about those. However, luckily, um, everyone's kicked off. So they've now stopped redecorating for the day. For the day, for the week. And we're going to be reconsulted about what colour scheme we have. <laughs> there was this moment where everyone came in the day before yesterday and went, the fuck green? I didn't tick green. It turns out nobody in block tick green, and so it's a bit odd. Anyway, so they, they are supposed to be refurbishing everything, so they're repainting the doors and the walls and the shed doors. Um, not sure when the sh what their doors are now going to happen because they were, I was supposed to ring them up yesterday in a range of time, but the whole building process or refurbished process has been put on hold. Um, but the shed doors and front doors are supposed to be this um, brown beige colour, which I'll show you. There. So there you go, refurb update. That's all I seem to do this year. It's still not as big as the one in Kensington, though. This is. Whole Foods on what we what street are we on? I think this is Glasshouse Street. Glasshouse Street. Well, it is kind of a glass house, so that makes sense. This is Whole Foods. They're on a mission because the sausage and mash at work was a bit average. I love, I love the parents' court eggs, the Burford Browns. Yeah. So they're totally brown on the outside. Yeah. And when you crack them, the yolk is orange. Wow. And they're really flavourful. It's really like an intense egg flavour. Excellent eggs. Excellent. Do you want to see the bantam uh, eggs? They're seasonal. Seasonal eggs? I've never seen these. Let's have a look. <gasps> There's one missing! <laughs> That's... <laughs> oh my god. There's an egg thief. An egg. <laughs> Check out that. That's a banana and cashew and peanut butter with chocolate icing. That's pretty intense. That's just chocolate. That's a nice lunchbox, a half a chicken meal. Lindsay was going to buy half a chicken yesterday, but she was worried about eating a half a chicken. Mm. Maybe I'll have one of these. I they mean, look this is quite nice. A bit of cheesecake. That's quite, that's quite a bit of cheesecake. Yeah. Everything's very shiny in here. Yeah. I'm being food seduced. Oh wow. Now 
<laughs> this is where I'm supposed to be. It's very clear now. This is yours. Yeah, this is. I'll have one of all of those. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, but I think you made it. <laughs> you bottled it. But look, these are the um, real vampires. Oh, nice. So you can make your own yeah. posh burger. It'd be really nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Now, these are full size parmesans. As How much for a whole parmesan? Probably about a grand. <laughs> That's probably about, yeah, five grand's worth of parmesan there. This is this is where the cheese lives, which is why we're here. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. What have we got? It's Biv, Biv Gouda, Gouda. I bought some of this last week, and it's amazing. That's the vintage one. That's the matured one, five years. Yeah. Oh, this is really dangerous. It's so, a happy place. Uh, yeah, very good. And they have a cafe upstairs as well. Yeah. Which Amazing. To? Yeah, totally. Before I leave, let's go have a lunch. Thanks, see you tomorrow. <laughs> look at the perfect clouds. They look ever so like someone's drawn them. Well, those ones less so. Those nice fluffy ones over there, though, they're nice. It's Sainsbury's time again comes on every couple of weeks where I get to use the world's greatest currency, nectar. I will be collecting a bajillion this visit. Can you see the floor in the plan? That oil, that oil over there, that oil there. This aisle here. I, all the aisles with meat. So uh, shopping is off the agenda. Boom. So that didn't work. Sainsbury's meat counters are all closed because the refrigeration system has failed. So we have bought a sum total of absolutely nothing whatsoever. Massive nectar missed opportunity. Never mind. We're back at Sainsbury's. This time the meat counters are open. So we can actually finally go shopping. Because yesterday there was no taste and lots of waste. So, take two. Okay, I'm not feeling too well, so maybe this is the way to go. It's a good Jewish solution. And how do I. You this is how you know it's the Jewish section. You get that. <laughs> you get that. Amazing. Hello. This morning I feel terrible. And all that eating rubbish food yesterday hasn't helped enough. So I'm now eating dry, crunchy nut cornflakes. <laughs> it's not glamorous. And it's not a nice place to have a lie down for a while because they're refurbishing the entire area. And can you hear that noise? I don't even know what that is. Let's have a look. What the hell is going on there? Brilliant. Who wanted a lion anyway? Oh yeah, I've fixed. This is my iPhone fixing kerfuffle. It works though. I'm going to prove it to you by. Um, I can't prove it to you. This is it. Listen. So it's getting late, but I better have some lunch, even though I'm going out for dinner. <laughs> Make sure my stomach stays with it though. The MacBook is totally dead. So despite all those trips to the Apple Store and what have you, it's not salvageable. Crystal's bought a new MacBook Air, which arrives today. And the only way to fix that old MacBook Pro is to replace the logic board, which I don't fancy doing. Or finding a professional to reboil all the soldering. Oh, vlog! Oh, yes! <laughs> 
I hope he did. Oh, we don't know. Beep, beep. Beep. In that toilet that's oh, hang on, hang on. I'm not allowed to say anything about this. If I can't go on, it's I'm not allowed to say anything about it. Yeah, that's true. So we don't know if. Right, so we're heading for the Oxo restaurant, Oxo Tower, which is uh, up here slightly. Small's leading, so if you find this, we're lost and we're probably dead. It is, does look a bit like Avatar. Yes. Are you recording now? Yes. Is it a bit, have you seen, anyone seen the rest of the development? It's a TV show, I have, yeah. There's an episode where he, the, where Tobias is trying to join the Blue Man group and he blues himself up. It's got its moments. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Adam. Happy birthday to you. You're getting, you're getting applause from other tables. <laughs> I really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's very echoey there. It's very oh, it's echoing. recording, isn't it? Yeah, of course not. Oh. Oh. It's not raining though, so this is an improvement. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Right then, that was a very lovely and very expensive evening. Um, it's technically Saturday now by an hour and 15 minutes, so I think that is a good point to end it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.